Welcome to SciTech's new user onboarding training. We begin by adding a vehicle. So I'm going to hit the plus sign in the center there. And it gives you the ability to scan a VIN, type a VIN, select from a sample VIN, or specify a vehicle, which is just selecting year, make, model, engine, and trim. So let's go through scan a VIN. And there's a couple tips here. So you have three options. You can do it from the door jam sticker and here. Just to highlight, it is not the barcode. It's actually the VIN number, so just focus in on the VIN number. The other two options would be from a, like a paper repair order. You could just zoom in there. Or what I'm doing here is actually from a computer screen. So I could just zoom in on that VIN number, take the photo. In the lower right, use photo. It'll Sending image. Motor. If they can completely decode the VIN, it'll go directly to our SciTech smart search screen. In this case, it's asking for a trim. I know it's an FX4. Upper right, add vehicle. And there it lands you in the smart search screen. So now let's just do general navigation. You have the back arrow in the upper left. Upper right is your gear settings. Let's go to settings. One of the things that you might use is delete all vehicles. Over time, as you're scanning vehicles, you're going to accumulate, you know, 50, 100 vehicles. So you can just delete those there. If you're using Android, it would be a little lower and it would be reset vehicles. So I'm just going to back out of here, go back to that gear settings. There's also that the help menu here. So you have a quick reference guide, uh, the smart talk feature a demo, frequently asked questions, and probably most important, if you would like to give us a product suggestion or you have a question, you can email me and I'll get that. So I'm just going to hit the back arrow here and then go to the lower menu tray. In the lower left with the vehicle with a plus, you have four different items there. You have the, the vehicle information, recall information hits NHTSA. And it's at a year, make, model level that there is uh, recall information for this vehicle. You can just click through and it gives you the description, the remedy, and the contact information for the OE. The third item in that vehicle list is actually takes you to the, the vehicle list. And we're just going to go back there for a second. And again, you can add a vehicle in the upper left there if you would like with the plus sign. And just close that. To get back to the smart search screen, you can just select that vehicle. But I also just wanted to show you if you wanted to delete a vehicle, you can just swipe that left and you can see where you can delete it. So I do not want to delete it. I want to get back. So I'm going to select that vehicle and I'm back into the smart search screen. And just the last thing I want to show you in the lower left there, you can also add a vehicle from here as well. So right next to that menu is you'll see like it looks like a notepad. It says history. This would be a chronological list of all your searches for a specific vehicle. Next to that is the blue magnifying glass. That's your keyword search. We'll come back to that in a second. Next to that is the wrench and the screwdriver. These are your quick views. These are summaries to get quick access to a lot of information. Our most popular is our quick service summary. It consolidates about 17 different items related to quick service. So you'll see at the very top there, it says engine oil light reset procedure. So you click on that and get that. You have oil fluid type and capacity, engine oil filter part number, drain plug tightening torque. You have coolant type and capacity. If I scroll down, I've got brake fluid type, wheel lug nut tightening torque, transmission service fill, transmission total fill. And I can continue going down. There's air conditioning information. And then you'll see a section called additional data. That's where you would find fluid specs for like differential, uh, additional filters like cabin air, engine air. And then at the very bottom, we give you estimates, parts and labor for wiper blades, bulbs, and batteries. And like I said, we have five different summaries. There's fluid capacity specs, AC fluid specs, brake rotor specs, and torque specs. Just to show you brake rotor specs, this is common. There's your discard thickness if you're trying to determine if you're going to replace or reface your brake rotors. So now the, the second way you can search would be through the, the voice capability. And you'll notice that it's listed as beta. Um, there's still work to do to be able to uh, effectively recognize all the different ways someone can ask a question and map it to you know, the content. 
but we've done a pretty good job with a lot of the, the maintenance and light repair items. Let me just show you a couple items. Estimate to replace dry belt. And there's your estimate. Engine oil light reset procedure. And there's your reset procedure. Front brake rotor replacement procedure. And there's your replacement procedure. And what we recommend is let's focus on the keyword search. Let's get uh, comfortable with that. If you're still interested in the voice stuff, we can come back and provide some additional training. Let's go to the keyword search now. So either blue button will open that and let's go to specifications and let's type in engine oil. What I tell folks is less is more. So the fewer words you type in, the more likely that you get a match. So there's engine oil and specifications and you've got uh, several different items there related to that. So now let's look for a, a serpentine belt. Let's say you're looking for that serpentine belt routing diagram. And there's your serpentine belt routing diagram. Now a couple other things if you're interested in looking for like you know, what are your lift points of a vehicle just type in lift and there's your lift points. Just tap that and there you go. A couple other common things I see look for would be like cylinder head. They're looking for the cylinder head diagram and there's your cylinder head diagram. And in conjunction with that, I often see people looking for the firing order. So I'm just going to type in firing order. And there's the engine firing order sequence. Uh, let's bounce over to procedures. And again, I just wanted to show you less is more. So if I just type in keyword engine, you'll see it returns all the different procedures that include the word engine. Now, if I want to narrow that down and look for an engine gasket, and there's that front engine cover gasket. And what you need to know about procedures is there's sort of three dimensions. In the center, you'll find that it has the OEM step-by-step -step instructions. You'll often find that they have special tool needs, torque specifications. And then at the bottom, you'll see that uh, blue figures tray. I just open that up and it's all the different figures related to that procedure. On any of these, you would be able to pinch and zoom. I'm going to close that. And then at the very top, you'll see a red button there. Click that and it links you to five additional YouTube videos. Now we do not filter these. We take the vehicle in context, your search criteria of engine gasket, and then the category of procedures and search YouTube and return unfiltered YouTube videos. Now let's pivot over to parts and labor. Let's search for that same engine gasket. And you'll see the cards you see there, those are the estimates. You'll also see a blue button that says part numbers. And what we did there is took the vehicle, your search criteria and search motors extended database. So you could go there and find just part numbers. But if you click on the card that says front engine cover gasket, you get the estimates, you have the OEM part numbers, the OEM MSRP pricing. In the lower blue tray there, it says figures, that's the parts vector. You just tap that and it gives you the legend. And I can close out of here. One other thing I wanted to show you, I'm gonna search brake pads and do a search. And what I wanna highlight here is often it'll include what we call optional procedures. So in addition to you know, the estimate for the brake pads of nine tenths, if you scroll down here, it lists optional procedures. So it pays an additional tenth for if you do a brake line, two tenths for the brake rotor, four tenths for the brake rotor reface. So I just wanted to make sure you're aware that that was there. Now I'm gonna go down to wiring diagrams and you can search, I would say at two levels, what I'll call a high level category, it might be engine, it could be transmission, it could be electrical, it could be lighting, but let's just search engine. And it's gonna bring back things like engine charging, engine fuel controls. Let's actually look at engine speed controls. 
have the uh, engine speed controls and on any of these things you can see you can pinch and zoom you also see you have the ability to print but you'll see the pinout number of C2414A if you want to go look and find out where that's at you could go to figures and I'm going to type in C2414A and search and that's going to take you right to that wiring harness and you just pinch and zoom and there's your steering column control module right behind the steering wheel on the left. Now just to be transparent, I did it by the number there. Um, there's not a 100% match with the numbers, but another way you could search would be actually on the component name. So if I'm looking up the steering column, I can just search for steering column. And then the third one there, steering column control module. And this is just another way to get to the same figure. So again, there's that C2414A. So going back to wiring diagrams, I said you could search at both the high level as well as the components. So let's say you were looking for an oxygen sensor and we've trained it on synonyms and acronyms. So an O2, we know is an oxygen sensor. So there's that. You could also search for a body control module and it will recognize a BCM. And there's the body control module. Now let's go over to uh, technical service bulletins. Here I would say use a single word. Um, you also have the ability in TSBs to type in like symptoms. In this case, it's a, a misfire and there it returns a technical service bulletin. Another option might be to actually put in a P code. Let's say you're looking for a P0234. And there's your bulletin for that uh, DTC code. Now let's go down to DTC procedures. Look for that same P0234. And there it is. In Ford's case here, they sort of have a two tier. And the first item here, it gives you the description, possible causes, as well as it points you to a pinpoint test. You'll also notice that it has print capability. If I exit out of here, you'll see in the lower tray there, it says DTC supporting tests. I go there. I know it was pointing to a pinpoint test HN. I can click on that and it takes you to the 15 page, you know, pinpoint test with pins. You have the capability to print here as well. The last thing I want to show you is what we call our no search results. As much as we would like Motor to have every piece of content for every vehicle, reality is there is gaps. So if you're searching for something and they don't find it, what happens? And we have so let's say you go back and you remember I searched for serpentine belt and you thought it was in figures. And what it does is it tells you that it did not find any matches in figures, but it also returned YouTube videos, but it also searched the other categories. So I could see that there was something in specification that matched serpentine and there's the serpentine belt that I was looking for. Let's do one more example of that. So I'm going to add a vehicle. I'm going to select a 2018 Chrysler 300 Limited Flex Fuel Add Vehicle. And I'm going to look for a thermostat. And I'm going to look for that in procedures. And in this instance, it does not find it in procedures, but it also returns YouTube videos as how to replace the thermostat for that Chrysler 300. But it also said, hey, we found some content in parts and labor, and they just so happen to have the thermostat replacement procedure there as well. That may not be perfect, but we think it's much better than saying, hey, we just don't have anything. So that's it for now. Uh, thank you for taking the time. And